Happy Chris Thanksgiving, Mary. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. What is good to you today, ladies and gentlemen? We do have this big, heavy box. Jesus Christ. It kind of looks like an oversized GameCube, if you will. You guys see as we spin it around here, it's like a perfect cube shape. And today, we're going to dive into this, guys. We got a lot of great things inside this thing. But first of all, happy Thanksgiving to you, your family, everybody, man. Especially 2020, I feel like, you know, it puts a lot of things into perspective. It puts a lot of things in your brain about just how important family is and just holding on to and being grateful and thankful for all the time we get with those people or anybody that's close to you or your friends or the roof over your head or the food on your plate or whatever the case may be guys. I want to give a huge shout out to all of you for watching this video, for subscribing to the channel. 2020, well it hasn't been the best year ever, it's been an amazing year for the channel and I appreciate every single one of you guys and uh, let me know down below what you're thankful for down in the comment section, but I'm super grateful and thankful for you guys. I don't know why I'm picking up these scissors. I'm with scissor hands. But anyways, this box, guys, does come to us from my man G Natty, or if you guys know him as G97 WWE Figures on YouTube. Definitely go give him a check out, guys, if you haven't seen him. He's a longtime member of this community. He is a beast, and he sent me this big box of stuff that we're going to move, aka sell. I don't know when they're going to go up. They should be going up in the next few days, but this box looks excellent. It's very heavy. I can't wait to grab it and, you know, pop it up. I don't know why I said grab it. I can't wait to grab it. I'm grabbing it. I can't wait to crack it open is what I mean. But the only way we can crack open packages here on My Damn Halls, this is a My Damn Halls episode, by the way, is with the trusty good old knife. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this package. Yeah, this isn't the trusty knife. I can't find the trusty knife, man. I can't find the trusty knife. I looked everywhere. Everywhere in here is kind of a mess, so that's why. But I guess I'm just going to use these scissors to cut open this box, and hopefully uh, it still gets the job done. So we're just going to saw this open right here without cutting my John Brown face off. What the hell did he say? Oh, yeah, I'm not too sharp. Watch this, motherfucker. These scissors are... That hurt like hell. I don't know how I'm not bleeding. Uh, I may be bleeding. Sheesh, that hurt like shish. I knew it was gonna happen, man, because this tape was like, I told you, these, these scissors aren't very sharp. And it says, what'd you say, Brad? And it freaking cut me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Jeez, bruh. Let me go get a damn Band-Aid. Who's sharp now, bitch? All right, guys, well, I'm back, and I have taped up my finger, so, uh, piece of shit. But now I'm afraid to even use the scissors. Trusty knife, where are you? I need you. We're just gonna do that, and then, God in heaven. These scissors are are terrible, though, to be honest with you. Anyways, cutting it open there. All right, so we got, oh, snap. So everything's kind of rappy dappy up right here in a big old cube of its own. Okay. Well, that's interesting. The only thing to do is to just kind of cut this ish open. I feel like these scissors are just going to turn around and just try to stab me in the face. Anybody getting that feeling? But as you guys can see here, we have a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of stuff going on, all right? First up, you'll probably notice there's like 62 Marty Jannettis in here. God, dude, my finger hurts. It's not really that, like, cut is one thing, but, like, it's just in pain. Can I get this ish open? All right. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. You guys will see first right here. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five rated R championships. So five rated R championships. Again, these will be going on eBay, not today, but they will be going up on eBay very soon. So uh, we're going to be selling some stuff here. So we got these five rated R championships. Kind of a difficult belt to track down. You know, they don't, these definitely are difficult to track down. Not only do we have the five rated R championships, guys, but we also have five ECW championships. What is good, everybody? I just wanted to chime in here. This is editing tray right here, and I just wanted to play that clip again. What the hell happened to my voice? Five ECW championships? Five ECW championships? What the hell are you doing, Brad? What are you doing? Get it together! And these are also very difficult to track down. How nice is that? Can you imagine, like, walking into Walmart or, or, like, random stores and just being able to buy individual championships like this? Do you know how nice that would be? Because these championships go for a pretty penny. These titles and these are very hard to track down. So to just find them like this individually from different people is very difficult to see. But you love to see that. But now you guys will see how many... Okay, so pretty much we pretty much have an influx of 
of these Marty Jannettis, these Rocker Marty Jannetty two-pack elites, and I'm pretty much going to be, we're pretty much just going to be moving these on eBay, so you guys can see here, you got the nice Rockers t-shirt, you got the like neon yellow with the zebra print down here, I've always wanted a couple of these, but I will not be keeping these, it is cool to see them in hand though, it's pretty nice, but literally we have like 80 of them, we have 80 of them, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, have you ever seen this many of one figure, Jesus Christ, seven, you got eight, you got nine, you got ten, you got eleven, you got twelve, you got thirteen, you got fourteen, you got fifteen, fifteen Marty Jannettis, fifteen Marty Jannettis, fifteen Marty Jannettis, fifteen of them, and then the last one is a custom, and this one's really nice, guys, we have a custom one-man gang who actually was supposed to be released by Mattel, but then I think something happened with his rights or like a lawsuit or something, and they changed it, and it did not end up happening. But we have a custom elite one-man gang right here that will also be going up on eBay sooner than later And uh, I'll probably put a post up on my community tab when all this goes live on eBay But this is really cool man to see the one-man gang here and to see I really wish we would have got the one-man gang from Mattel But to see all these John Brown Marty Jannettis bro like that is absolutely insane Like I didn't I didn't know how many Marty's it would be but oh my gracious alive That is insanity to see that that many like that in a pile right there. And here we have a Shawn Michaels that goes with our Marty Jannetty. This isn't the this isn't the right Marty Jannetty. One man gang's trying to fall over here. This isn't the Shawn Michaels that goes with it. But what you could do is you could easily buy a second one and then put this head sculpt on this Marty Jannetty, and you will have your tag team rockers. Or you could buy the uh, what is it the network spot not the network spotlight but the GameStop Retro Fest one in the rockers gear and like the rainbow rockers gear. You can take that head sculpt and put it on here let me grab that figure real quick so you can take this Shawn Michaels right here you can put this Shawn Michaels head sculpt over here and then bam you'd have your rocker tag team or you could put I mean you could honestly put a lot of different Shawn Michaels head sculpts on there it still look good so if you want to buy two of the rockers and then put one of the head sculpts of Shawn Michaels on the Marty Jannetty that would work out really really good but we have plenty here so I may even buy one myself but there's Shawn Michaels there's the Marty Jannettis you also have the freaking championships man you know what I don't mention I think I've mentioned it one time before on the channel but what one thing that I think is really cool about these Rated R Championships is you can replace the middle plate with anything because you can turn the title around right here. You can pop off the backing of the middle plate and you can put whatever you want in there. And I've never seen anybody really do it besides Chase from Burnout Inc. So I think somebody definitely needs to try that. But that pretty much does it for our haul. I know we didn't have just a bunch of spectacular things going on, but huge shout out to my man G Natty. Guys, if you want to go follow his channel, go to G97 WWE Figures. He does a great pick fed. He's got crazy matches on there. Really creative stuff, so definitely get in on that, but before we get out of here, guys, I do want to give a random shout-out. I think we have an epic, epic, epic WWE action figure surgery coming tomorrow. It's just going to depend because you guys know that we have the WrestleMania figures. We have Elite 80, 81, 82. Like, we have a lot of stuff going on, so I'm probably going to get all those figures in here, and we're going to do some surgery and do a really sick-ass surgery video, so stay tuned for that, but let's get into today's shout-out, and this shout-out is going to go to Joseph Kali or Joseph Kali, or Joseph Cali or Joseph Seth Joe. He says that edge head scan is the look we had when Lana was a sole survivor. And that's true stuff, Brad. That is true stuff. Uh, I have the edge right here. So ding, ding, ding. Bianca Belair has been counted out. And therefore, Team Raw has the sole survivor. And it is Lana. This is us. Right here. This is our faces. But anyways, somebody also said that this could work for John Moxley, and that actually is true, especially if he has toned off this tattoo. You put a custom head sculpt on here. I know he's wearing pants, but since he has this camo look on there, I know he has the rated R logo, but it's not the biggest deal. And the only thing is the lower shins would need to be swapped, but I don't think it would be that hard to switch out and fix. But anyways, there's all the stuff, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I hope you guys enjoy a happy Thanksgiving with your families. Enjoy the time. 
eat the food, I'm going to eat the absolute ish out of some food. Brad, leave me your favorite Thanksgiving dish down in the comment section below. Mine has to be chicken casserole or chicken and dressing or chicken and dumplings. But what I do is I put, what I end up doing is I get like my four or five favorites. So we got potato salad, chicken and dumps, chicken and dressing, chicken casserole. We got all the stuff going on. You know, we get some meat in there. And then we put it on like this four quadrant. And I'll take a little of each and like mix and match it a little bit. Not all four together because that would be awful. But you take a little bit of casserole into your dressing. A little bit of this into that. And it is absolutely mind blowing. So if you guys are seeing this, get chicken casserole. Put like scoop up a bit of chicken casserole. Then scoop up a bit of your dressing. Eat it together. Mine exploded. But anyways guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, big surgery coming tomorrow. Get freaking ready. I wanted to have it to go today. But I had to stay up with some Thanksgiving festivities last night. And so I have this My Damn Halls episode for today. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to Joseph for that comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. <sighs> thank you. You crossed the line. I've been